بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين Immune thrombocytopenic purpura It is a thrombocytopenia due to immune destruction of platelets The antibody coated platelets are removed following binding to the FC receptors on macrophages The pathogenesis Platelets are coated with the immunoglobulin obsonizing it and making it a target for destruction by splenic macrophages. In children, it's acute and it happens between two to six years, usually with a history of viral infection like varicella zoster or measles. While in adults, it's less acute, more seen in women and may be associated with other autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, thyroid dis diseases, and autoimmune hemolytic anemia, Evans syndrome, in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia and solid tumors, and after infections with viruses such as HIV. Clinical features, easy bruising, purpura, epistaxis, menorrhagia. The physical examination is normal, except for evidence of bleeding. Spinomegaly is rare. Major hemorrhage is rare and is seen only in patients with severe thrombocytopenia. In the laboratory investigation, the patient will have a normal complete blood count, except for a low platelet count. Platelets antibodies will be found in 60 to 70 percent of patients and are presumed to be present, although not detectable in the remaining patients. Bone marrow examination will reveal either normal or increased megakaryocytes. About the treatment, children usually do not require treatment if it's necessary on clinical ground. High dose corticosteroid is effective. Intravenous immunoglobulin should be reserved for very serious bleeding or urgent surgery. Adults with platelet counts greater than 30 times 10 to the power of 9 per liter require no urgent treatment unless they are about to undergo a surgical procedure. In the first line treatment, corticosteroids and intravenous immunoglobulin is very useful where rapid rise in platelet count is desired especially before surgery. Second line therapy, splenectomy. Third line, for those who fail splenectomy, high dose corticosteroids and intravenous immunoglobulin and rhesus factor zero immunoglobulin, vincalkaloids, danazole, immunosuppressive agents. Thrombopoietin receptor agonists have been shown to increase platelet in ITP. Platelet transfusions are reserved for intracranial or other extreme hemorrhage where emergency splenectomy may be justified. Thank you.